guys, so if you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I've been testing out a few things from the brand called The Ordinary. Some of my favorites are The Buffet, which is a serum-based multi-technology peptide serum. It has really helped with my hyperpigmentation going on in this area. Um, I've also been using the glycolic acid toner. Um, I bounce between this and now the lactic acid 5% that I've been, I'll use this twice a week and this the other days. And I use these at night just because it makes the skin more sensitive. And I just use a witch hazel in the morning. So tonight, I thought, since it's face mask night, that I would try something that I've had for two months that I've just been scared to try. And it is the Ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. Um, it's like the vampire mask that you see floating around. Um, this is supposed to be really good for brightening the skin and smoothing it out. There is a little bit of a purge that happens the first few times you use it so I'm um, without getting too much into it I am about a week away from my cycle so I'm expecting my skin to do all kinds of crazy stuff anyways so why not give this a try now we're leaving for the beach in about 29 days so I kind of want to just my skin's a sensitive skin so I'm going to do this just like once a week and maybe skip the week that we're on the beach. I haven't fully decided. I have a big old head, so sun hats don't really work for me. So I've got to be very careful. And I'm allergic to SPF for the face. I don't know. Like even when I use, I have, let me grab it. I have the Aveeno Ultra Calming with SPF that I try to put on my face during the day. And for the first 30 minutes after I put this on, my face is like as red as this sweater. But anyways, so I thought I'd give this a try. Just shooting it on my cell phone right now. Just a fun little project just so y'all can kind of see how this works for the first time. I've already tested it on my arm and on my um hand right here because this skin's is sensitive more sensitive than my face and it the direction said to leave it on no longer than 10 minutes and I did that and it feels fine it feels a little sensitive like it stings just a little bit not much so I'm gonna kind of test the waters and see how long I'm gonna leave it on so before I put this on the areas of my skin that are have given me problems from the get-go uh, are right around here. I get clogged. No, I don't really get zits, but I can feel like congestion right there. And I don't know if it's just because I only wash my hair twice a week. And so oils kind of tend to build up there. I make an effort to really clean like everywhere around my face. This is my nightly. <laughs> my poor husband gets to look at me looking like this. Like a crazy person and like right around here I get congestion but really and truthfully since starting a ritual a skincare ritual I've noticed like my I can go out in public and not be 100% ashamed I have before and after pictures that I've shared on my Instagram page of my face and my redness and this is just after being washed like very little pink and it's in person not even that pink it's just bouncing off the sweater from what I can tell in the mirror so the directions I just opened this box I've actually was going to send it back because I was too scared to start using this but kind of want to give it a try and if I don't like it then I can send it back they have a 365 a day return policy so why not give it a shot since it's already here so the directions say clean face and wait for skin to dry. It's been about 20 minutes since I've washed my face and I patted it dry and it was still a little damp and I just let it air dry. And I'm also going to do this part of my chest. This is my face mask shirt. Sure, it's got like all kinds of clay mask all over it. This is what I do at least once a week. I'll do a full mask all over and then like at least another day or two I'll just do a regular mask. Since starting the ordinary and using the lactic acid and the glycolic acid 
and the serum. I've noticed that I only need to do a mask at like once a week, sometimes twice a week. Granted, I've been home recovering from back surgery for a month, so I'm not putting makeup on my face. I've only worn makeup once in the past four weeks, so that may have something to do with how my skin's reacting and how I'm feeling about my clogged pores and stuff, because right now, I think this is a very good skin day. Okay, back to the directions. Do not use on wet skin. Apply evenly across face and neck using fingertips, avoiding the eye area. Leave on for no more than 10 minutes. Rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water. Okay, so I have my son's tablet since I'm filming on my cell phone, that I'll uh, use to count down. I'm going to check in at the three-minute mark and the five-minute mark. I'm probably not going to leave it on much longer than five or six minutes just because this is the first time, and I'm really enjoying my skin right now, but I uh, just kind of want this because where I usually break out this time of the month is right around here. This is where hormone problems tend to flare up on most women and I suffer from polycystic ovarian syndrome so I have a whole lot of hormone issues and they just rear their ugly little heads right here so I am going to turn this a little bit forgive me that you see my lovely wall back there if <laughs> if anyone notices this little thing I have a hook that refuses to stay up so that is on our to-do list in the next couple weeks so here we go so there is a full dropper and I'm gonna put about half and I'm going to avoid the eye sockets entirely because that is the most sensitive skin. Get a little bit more. And I plan on waxing my eyebrows in the next two weeks. So, actually, I was planning on it tomorrow, but whenever you do any kind of exfoliation, and that's what this is, it's a chemical exfoliation, you do not want to be putting something on your skin to rip hair out. You don't want to shave. Even before you go for like a pedicure, you do not want to shave your legs because they exfoliate your shins. So you can kind of see, and I really like this little bow headband. I got this off Amazon, but I've seen them at places like Ross and um, Burke Outlet. So immediately when I put it on my chest, I, it is burning. So it's probably going to stay on my chest the least amount of time. And I, because of polycystic, I have skin tags all down my neck. So I'm not going to like do like a huge, like huge amount. I can feel, I told y'all I had a big head. I can literally feel the headband scooting up my hair a lot. Okay, we're starting, so I'll be right back. Okay, so this is us at about the two and a half minute mark. Uh, the tingling on the chest has stopped. I added a little bit more around this area because once I got close up, because I'm blonde without glasses, I could tell that I wanted more coverage there. This is kind of what it looks like. It seems to be getting a little bit darker as it sits on, which is kind of cool. You can tell I didn't do as much down on the neckline. I wish I would have got like right here. The headband It's more trouble than it's worth sometimes if you got a big head. They're great, <laughs> but once you get a mask on and it starts coming off. But so I'll check in at about the six minute mark. Guys, we're just now crossing over to the six minute mark and I can feel a little bit of stinging 
right here, it's not bad at all. It just feels like a face mask is getting tight. Like if you've ever done a peel off mask, that's exactly like how it's starting to feel like it's getting drier. Um, chest doesn't bother me anymore. It's mainly just like right here and it's not bothering me at all. It's just tight. So I think I'm going to leave it on for eight minutes. I'm not going to go the full 10 minutes today. And uh, I'm going to rinse this off with a washcloth with warm water. And then I'll come back and show you my skincare routine for nighttime. Okay, so here's my face about five minutes after rinsing. Um, I went ahead and jumped in the quick shower. And it's still, it's a little red, but it's normally a little red. I'm going to set you up here. It's normally a little red after being washed. It feels very tight, very clean, like squeaky, like very squeaky clean. Very much just like after a peel off face mask. So I'm pretty happy with it. No burning, just very, very tight. First thing that I do after I wash my face at night is I'll go over it with either the glycolic acid toner or the lactic acid toner. Since I'm not doing that tonight because I've already done enough acids on my face, I'm going to go in with the Buffet by The Ordinary. And I've had this about two months now. And I used to like do like what the, like the Instagram people do and waste so much product. So I did about half the little dropper full. And I rub it all over my face. Now my skin type is oily combination. So right in my T-zone is extremely oily. And then right around here is where I'm very dry and have the hyperpigmentation and need the extra help there that the alpha hydroxy acids help with. I do my chest and my neck. I'm no skincare expert. I'm actually learning everything from different makeup groups on Facebook and actually clients of mine. And I actually made a friend when I went to pick up hair supplies a couple weeks ago in the beauty supply store. So another one of my favorites that a friend of mine, Shannon, she's recommended me all this stuff pretty much. Uh, is the Snail Recovery Gel, and I forgot, it's by Mizon, M-I-Z-O-N. Um, I forgot where I got this from, but I will try to link it down below. I'll look through my online shopping sprays. But this huge little bottle was only $14. And I take about that much. And some nights I don't do the buffet and this. I'll do one or the other and then go over it with my cream or gel. With oily skin, you really don't use a lot of cream type of products. But through my research, I now got a little bit more to bring down onto my chest. Um, the snail slime really helps with anti-aging. They've even come out with, I know Kenra, the hair product brand, has come out with their own shampoo that has like the snail cream in it. So I'm going to let this sit in for about five minutes and then I'm going to come through and use, right now I've been just using the Garnier, Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue Gel at night just to lay on top of it. And on nights that I don't use the buffet or the snail gel, I'll go over my skin with this just to put some moisture back in my skin. I've also been using an Olay Regenerist gel overnight mask, but I won't use the buffet or the snail cream whenever I'm using that because it's so heavy. But this isn't that heavy, so I feel like it can go on top. So, and after this, it's about five minutes, I'll put this on. And then I'm good till the morning. So that's it. I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you hit that like button. And I'll see you guys next time.